You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. We are going to dive right into whether Gabby Hernandez and EJ DeMera may cross lines when they are both feeling betrayed. Are they going to take their desire for revenge right to the bedroom? This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and a leaker shared some info with me that has me wondering what Gabby and EJ might do together soon. So Stefan DeMera was sitting on a big secret about big brother EJ DeMera, but EJ also had dirt on Stefan. Before that recent press conference, the brothers were balanced in this state of mutually assured destruction. As long as Stefan kept EJ's dirty secret, he'd keep his. And of course, EJ's big secret was Eric Brady was really baby Jude's daddy. And Stefan's big secret is that his fake affair with Ava Vitale had turned real at one point. Unfortunately, somebody didn't get the memo about Stefan needing to keep that baby secret at all cost. And that someone, of course, is Gabby Hernandez Demera. She was in the dark about the affair and EJ stealing another man's baby until she stumbled on the brothers bickering. So later, after EJ left, Gabby demanded that Stefan tell her why they were arguing. And insanely, Stefan decided that he could trust his vengeful wife who is still mad that EJ sent her to prison. Boy, was Stefan wrong, or what? Stefan made her promise that she'd keep the secret if he told her. And then he told Gabby the secret, but she didn't exactly give him her word. She didn't say, okay, I promise. He just said, you can't tell anyone. And then he went ahead and told her without extracting a blood oath or something. So then Gabby went ahead and told all of Salem at the DA press conference that EJ was a lying, baby-stealing, bad district attorney. And then Gabby doubled, doubled down and told Nicole Walker the truth with so much detail that EJ's wife knew it was facts that she was listening to. And of course, that got EJ dumped. And now his wife is thinking of leaving town with her baby daddy, Eric. EJ, I mean, let's be real. He has lost so much. He lost his Demera voting shares, his wife, the child he was pretending was his and had gotten attached to, millions of dollars of blackmail payouts to Sloan Peterson and Leo Stark. He's got nothing left and might also lose his DA job since he has been shown publicly to be a lawbreaker with very loose morals. So why would EJ sit there and not lash back at Stefan? and Gabby. I do expect EJ will tell Gabby that Stefan cheated on her with Ava. I mean, why would he not tell her? Already, EJ vowed revenge on them when he came from the press conference and was back at the house drinking whiskey and then flinging glasses to break it. Um, I suspect he's going to hit Stefan where it hurts most, which is right in his marriage. Stefan just got Gabby back. He just got her back. But is he going to lose her again so soon? I just don't think Gabby will react very well at all to finding out Stefan was sleeping with Ava because at the time she warned him, do not make this fake affair a real one. She warned him and he went and he did it anyway. Gabby is going to be fiery and fierce rather than forgiving. Why? Why? I mean, yes, he was devoted to her and worked hard to get her out of jail, but she's not going to let that tip the scale over cheating. Stefan can make all the excuses that he wants, but nothing is going to rationalize his cheating for Gabby. She will just be furious and want payback. And guess who else is furious and wants payback? E.J. DeMera. So will he and Gabby chase a vendetta together? Will EJ and Gabby hop in his big bed knowing what a slap in the face it would be to Stefan? 
So here's what my day's leaker told me. They said two people will cheat that are unexpected. They said it's not 80s characters. So not like Kate Roman, Marlena, John, anybody in that set. Not 80-year-olds, 1980s characters, the old school characters. So the cheaters are supposed to be people who it's out of character for them to be unfaithful and it will cause a lot of harm. And that definitely sounds like EJ cheating with Gabby might fit the bill. Of course, it could be another couple. Absolutely. But with the vibe going down at Casa de Mera, I would not be surprised if it was these two. And it would be kind of interesting because she has also been with Stefan's other brother, Chad de Mera. So this could round out Gabby's, you know, do the deed with a de Mera brother collector card set. She's got to catch them all. I think EJ and Gabby might be a whole lot of fun together, honestly. And yeah, I know Gabby just got out of prison and she and Stefan have been waiting so long to reconcile. And I do, of course, know there's a legion of Stabby fans out there thrilled that they're back together and will be really mad if the couple they ship gets ripped apart again. But let's, you know, all agree to acknowledge that's what soaps do. They put couples together so that they can rip them apart to intensify the drama and they don't let us keep nice things for too long. Nicole is gone from Salem for good very soon. Ari Zucker's final air date is Monday, July 29th. EJ knows he's lost her, but once Nicole finally leaves town, I think it might hit him even harder once she's gone and he doesn't even have the chance to try and make things right with her because she left town. After Nicole goes, possibly with Eric, although if he does go, he won't stay gone too long because Greg Vaughn kept filming and she didn't. That's when EJ might really, really lose it. And that's when he could go blabbing Stefan's dirty secret to Gabby. And let's remember, EJ and Gabby are not exactly friends or friendly. When he tried to hug her after her release, she put up the hand and said, not feeling it, which I thought was funny. But Gabby might change her mind and be into it once she finds out that her husband, Stefan, was playing hide the ham with Ava. I mean, this could turn out to be just a whole, whole lot of fun. Gabby, I think, would be the one in this scenario to approach EJ, maybe slither into his bed to punish her husband. Or it could be a mutual thing where they're sitting together drinking, fuming over Nicole, fuming over Stefan, feeling just fuming over betrayal. And then they wind up in bed together. Either way, I think they would be a great option to fulfill this spoiler about cheaters. And she and EJ could also then go after Ava fully intent on destroying her because both of them hate Ava Vitale. Clearly, Gabby hates her for getting naked with her husband and EJ hates Ava for her kidnapping and nearly killing his dear mother, Susan Banks. I mean, let's face it, Ava is just mean, mean, mean. So will EJ and Gabby get the ultimate pay back on Stefan with a really raunchy bedroom romp. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely watch that. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>